Agenda Installation of MS SQL Server 2008 R2 Right click Run as administrator Select setup.exe Right click Run as administrator Click on yes Download and install this feature because uh, .NET framework uh, uh, that one uh, not installed it so that's why we need to install to work properly Installation completed successfully. Close. Yes. Click on installation. Select new installation or add features to an existing installation. Select this one. Yes, uh, each and everything uh, rule passed successfully. Click on OK. Click on Next. Select I accept the license terms. Click on Next. Click on Install. So here a uh, warning message came windows firewall so better we need to switch off windows firewall here select privacy and security windows security and windows firewall
here public network present uh, just uh, switch off this one for temporarily click on open app firewall on just turn off yes turn off 15 minutes yes now rerun this one uh, just click on rerun let us see again message came okay and uh, this one defender click on manage providers here see micro uh, mcfe firewall and microsoft firewall select this open app all are uh, closed only now let us run okay click on next select sql server feature installation click on next or else if you want to all features with the default if you uh, if you already install uh, sharepoint no so you can select sql server power pivot for sharepoint present i need sql server feature installation means standalone installation that's why uh, i selected sql server feature installation click on next select all click on next so details everything is okay pass next here default instance keep it as it is click on next click on next here it's better to add network authority system service should be network service because we can access through network also that's why i'm selecting network if you want to connect this database from other system using ip address this uh, should be run it's it's very convenient to connect the sql server database yes everything should be automatic yes sql server browser everything automatic and uh, service is network network service click on use cm account for all sql service account name password okay uh, let it be click on next see here windows authentication i need mixed mode authentication means mixed mode means sql server authentication and windows authentication so password is uh, you should remember this password without this password you can access a uh, system admin password that uh, doesn't matter but you should remember this password to login into sql server management studio and specify the sql server administrators current user it's better just close it this one make a mcp so i selected add current user and uh, default sql server user is sa so both users have rights to access sql server database using management studio click on next add current user analysis services for administrator rights we should provide we should add so i added the i clicked on add current user click on next install native mode default configuration select it default click on next click on next click on show details everything is okay passed click on next yes click on install it will take approximate 1 or 2 minutes only based on your system speed my system speed is core i7 40 gb ram that's why
installed RAM is 64 GB RAM and processor is 12th gen Intel Core i7 1.7 GHz 64 bit operating system Yes, installation completed successfully. Click on close. Let us open um, SQL Server. Search SQL Server Management Studio. Click on it. See here, we can, this one should be localhost means dot or local host both are okay i am clicking on uh, authentication is windows authentication only i will show you windows authentication and uh, sql server authentication first one just select it and click on connect yes it's connected databases security logins here, here. yes here default username sa yes, now disconnect it again click on connect object explorer let us connect sql server authentication user login username is sa and password click on connect it's connected yes successfully installation completed now disconnect this one and again connect this one if if it is empty let us try to connect no we can't connect because it should be server name should be ip address or local uh, means uh, ip address of the system or name of the system means here right click properties see system device name is this one using this name also we can connect just select it connect yes connected and also IP address using the IP address also we can connect IP config slash all see IP address is IPv4 yes 
29.34 just copy disconnect this one again click on connect object explorer select this IP address my system IP address yes click on connect yes it's connected so using IP address or uh, system name or dot or local host we can connect if you have if your system has public IP using the public IP similarly we can connect like this only in network also using this IP address we can connect to the SQL server database if it is public IP we can easily connect to the database at anywhere that's it thank you